Uh, Al Sharpton is in our newsroom, uh, a man who uh, got to know Prince during his lifetime. And uh, Reverend, where are your thoughts right now? Well, I, I'm still numb with, uh, with shock. Uh, certainly, uh, Prince was a musical genius and had his own path. Uh, I got to know him uh, first many years ago because of my father-son relationship with James Brown, who he admired a lot, and he would go and uh, see James Brown a lot in concert, and we would talk, and uh, years later with Michael Jackson. And, uh, but what many people didn't know is he would support many of our civil rights causes. I remember, Brian, when uh, we were raising the issue of justice around the Trayvon Martin killing, Prince uh, called me and sent uh, some funds that I gave to the family for him and never wanted recognition for it. He went into Baltimore around the policing issue and did a concert to help the family. So he was one that did not want to make a lot about his humanitarian and activist uh, involvements, but he was very much involved in what was going on in the country. He was very much involved in human rights, and he was a musical innovator uh, without peer. He had his own uh, ear, his own sound, uh, and you would talk with him. I remember I sat with him in Los Angeles three or four hours one day at his house, and he would talk about how he would develop his own techniques and his own way of doing things in terms of music and in the studio. But he was very adamant about he wanted to be in control of his music. And uh, you might remember he very famously uh, gave up his name, saying he did not want to be owned by a company and led the whole fight for artists' independence and for artists maintaining their, their right to control themselves, something that Michael went through, and Michael and I were much closer. So uh, it, it is shocking, but I, I, I would hope that even in the shock, we remember the, the depth and gravity of what he was, both as a musical innovator and icon, but also as somebody who used uh, the resources he had to help causes that bettered the country and bettered the world. Reverend, do you agree with my assessment that he was, he was just entering that time in life where he was becoming a little more accessible, a little more visible, a little less mysterious and more Oh, that's Prince. I do agree with that, uh, and, and I, I kind of witnessed that because he was always very removed and mystical, but the last several years, I saw him in New Orleans a uh, uh, year or so ago, he did the Essence Festival, and he was a little more open, a little more uh, talking to people. He would show up at events unexpected, he would uh, go to uh, various social events, uh, clubs and all, and he used to be almost one that was uh, viewed as a hermit, not in, in, in the traditional sense, but in very private, very mysterious, didn't want to be uh, public. And he sort of started loosening up in the last uh, couple of years. And, and uh, it, it is very, very uh, against what he was in, in the earlier years that, uh, that many of us had come to know the mystique around Prince. But he never lost his musical edge. And he never really gave away the secrets to uh, how he got to where he was. He always was an enigma, uh, but he didn't, in, in, the, in the encounters I had with him, he wasn't trying to project that. That was just him. And, and you could tell this was the authentic prince. And uh, he, uh, he, he would do deal from a range. He hired Maceo Parker, who was James Brown's uh, uh, trombone player. And, and uh, uh, he would bring in old school, new school, and schools we never heard before. Uh, he had the Prince sound. You can't say he was pop or R&B or rock. He had the Prince sound. He had a, a, a fascinating mixture of all kinds of music. If there was one person that was an original, in our lifetime in music, it was Prince. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.